Okay, so I just ordered this computer from iBuyPower, and I've ordered my last um, four computers from them, and everything's always been like really, really good. Uh, on this one, my the motherboard specs actually said that there were six USB 3.1 ports, and USB 3 ports are usually blue, and you can see on the back of this, there are two blue ones and two black ones. And then I also have a Gen 2 port right there. And then on the front, I have two more. But there were supposed to be six. So there was actually an error on their website. So they're gonna send me a new, um, it's like an expansion bay that goes into the front of the CD-ROM port right here that will have more USB 3 ports. So they're gonna mail that to me for free for their mistake, and then they're gonna update the website so other people don't run into the same problem. This is a new type of drive. It's like a solid state drive, but it's like 2,500 megs a second instead of 500 megs a second. Look how small this drive is. One terabyte, this thing is tiny. This is crazy small. Look how small this screw is that I have to try to install into there. To get that screw in right there on the end of that SSD chip right there. I mean, I just spent an hour trying to get that in. Um, I just put a little bit of super glue on the end of the screw and then stuck my screwdriver on it, glued it for five seconds, and then screwed it in and it worked perfect. Okay, finally got the install to start. I downloaded a Windows 10 OEM copy from this website that made it $39. Uh, Gamecheap.net. And it was an OEM copy of Windows 10 Pro for $39 and they emailed me the key immediately. Copied the ISO to, the, to a USB stick. But the computer was not booting to the USB drive. I didn't know why. So I tried switching the USB stick from a USB 3 port, which I had it plugged into, to a USB 2 port and it worked. And now it's in the middle of the install.